Hi everyone, it's uh, Dr. Krad, and I have a wonderful patient today that's gonna share her experience after cataract surgery with the Clearview lens. And so the Clearview lens is a lens implant that corrects presbyopia, or it helps you see far and near without glasses. And so we just wanna ask uh, some questions about her experience. And so you're about a week out with mm -hmm. the right side and three weeks out with your left. Yes. Perfect. Okay. All right. So I have a medicine bottle. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. And I want you to tell me if you can read stuff on the medicine bottle. Sure. Um, I can read all the way down to RX only 15 milligrams. Okay. Now go to the ingredients. Okay. Um, usage dose is one or two drops to uh, topically in the yeah. eye, in the eyes. See package insert. Okay, so you can see that yeah. very well. And the ingredients. All right, that. so now I'm just going to ask a little bit more open-ended questions. Okay. Tell me about the your favorite things about your vision after cataract surgery. I can read a book again. That's yeah. one of my favorite things. That is awesome. And my house has a beautiful view, uh -huh. and I can see the dolphins. Oh my god! Yeah, I can see the dolphins <laughs> now, and I I would go there and. I would, I can see seagulls out on the water. And he goes, they've always been there. My husband, been there. <laughs> really? That's great. So that was new. That's great. Yeah, That's great. Like that. Beautiful. Um, anything in particular that um, you're struggling with? Um, is there anything you're struggling with with your vision? Uh, or no, are you doing okay? I'm doing, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm not struggling. I'm not real fond of my floaters, which I've always had. Sure. But. Yeah. But okay. that's like. Nothing right. compared to having my great. back. Great. So we have your left one covered. This one's been out for a week. Can you read any of these? P V N A L. That's fantastic. And now I'm gonna change that, but I want you to cover your other eye. Okay? Cover your other eye and blink a few times, it's okay. Can you read this? Sure. Z G F H D. How about that one? Um Z T N C O. Okay. How about can you read this line? A V S C H. Okay, so that's with your left one. So next, we're going to take a reading card over here. So I'm going to have you hold this with one hand. Okay. All right. And I want you to hold it. Yeah, that, that's fine. Okay. Uh, cover your left eye. Uh, cover the other. The other. Sorry. It's all right. No worries. <laughs> yeah. Now, I want you to try to do your best wherever you can read. What's the lowest one that you can read comfortably? Okay. This is too small, I can't read it. Okay, stay there. It's that line right there, so that's your one plus. Okay, now let's try the other eye. Cover the other eye. And which is the smallest one you can read? Or you know what, let me change this because you just saw that. Let me, let me flip it over. Okay, so let's do this. What's the smallest one you can read? Now I'm okay. just showing off. Okay, so that's that last line, that's a, J1 plus for reading. Now, if I hold this, because uh, this is the intermediate uh, letters, now I'm going to hold this back a little bit here. Okay. okay, so I'm pushing it a little bit further out. This is more like intermediate vision. Okay, what's the smallest one you can see? Uh, this is your left eye right now. What's the smallest one you can see, even if you can't go all the way down? Which is the one you can see at this distance? And if you feel free, if you want to start here, wherever you want, okay? Something in, it seems like. It's okay, go up one. Okay. Wherever you, wherever you are. Time to up. find a good plastic surgeon. That's fine. Okay, so you're trying to really push yourself because yeah. this is intermediate vision at the 20. 16 line or 2015 so the 2020 for computer is actually above it so you're you're trying to push yourself which you're doing awesome but now cover the other side all right so hold it a little far yeah hold it far kind of like where a computer would be okay all right and now go the smallest one that you can see doc it seems like i owe you okay so you're really pushing it. So you're 
you're at the intermediate line getting way down here. So that's for intermediate, that's the 2020 line. So you're a line and a half better than that, okay? Okay. So that's really good. Next thing you can uncover. Next thing I wanna check is I wanna see if I put a light in front of you, what kind of glare you see, okay? So I'm gonna turn off the room lights. So this is the light and even the camera can see, see some glare and some halos and starbursts and whatnot. So what I want you to do is I want you to cover your left eye, all right? So I'm gonna mimic a car headlight. Okay. Okay, so that's pointed towards you. Okay. Tell me, tell me what that looks like. Do you see a light? Do you I see? see a, a streak going right and some faint light around it. Okay, do you see uh, any halos or rings around it? No. Okay, if this was a headlight, would you be comfortable driving? Okay, cover your other side. You might need to blink a few times, of course, but um, tell me how this one seems. It's about the same, but opposite. The streak is going left. So you see a little streak? A little streak. Okay, which direction is it going? Left. Okay, does it seem, if this was a car headlight, would it feel comfortable to be in the yes. nighttime? Okay, all right, very good. I'm gonna turn on the lights. Now, I'm gonna do another test. This test here, is a contrast card. So it tests reading, but at different contrast levels. So it keeps getting harder. This is only 10% contrast. And so I'm gonna test the reading and I wanna see how much it degrades. So this is the J1 line. All right, so cover, let's do, let's do your uh, right eye first. So cover your left, Okay. hold this, and let's pick a line. Now, which one, and you can hold it for like your reading distance. All right, mm -hmm. so wherever you're comfortable there. And then pick a line here that you can go. Which is the smallest one you can see? Uh, moon, shape, jump, east, light, okay. easy light. All right, so that's that line right here. Yeah. I want you to work your way to the right and you might have to go up a line, but I want you to work your way up uh, to the right. See what's the smallest line you can read on this column and then okay. the next Okay, total column. power, other tune, heel. Okay, that's the second to the bottom, all right? Hold on. Sorry. And then power high, build, ever life. Okay, also that's that one. How about that one? Mm. And you can, you can go up a line if you need. That's even hard for me. Focus, light, make, color, glass. Okay, very good. That's uh, that one here. Mm -hmm. So that's actually really, really good. Now let's switch uh, eyes. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good, good. So we're going to do the same thing. You're going to start on the left column and just okay. work your way to Moon, this. shape, jump, east, light. Okay. Easy light. Okay. Okay. Um, Single point, look, deal easy. Okay. Bold R, that. Not sure. Youth. Okay. And this one. Focus, light, make color, glass. Very, very good. So that line there on the darkest one was a J2. And on the first uh, couple was J1 plus. All right, cool. You can uncover. Okay. All right. So now I just have questions just generally about, you know, um, your, your vision and your daily life. Do you have any trouble uh, driving? No. Okay. And then are you comfortable? I don't know if you've driven at night at all when it's dark. How do you feel about the nighttime vision? I haven't driven yet at night, Okay. but I've been in the car while it's dark. Okay. And I'm pretty comfortable knowing that I can probably easily drive at night. Okay. All right. Daytime, it's perfect. Daytime is perfect. How about things like at home watching TV? Watching TV is easy. Okay. Yeah. And then um, have you used a computer or I iPad? A computer. Okay. Very easy. Uh -huh. Phone is a little bit off. Okay. In what way? Um, 
It just seems a little, just not quite as sharp. Okay. Do you have your phone? You can... Uh... I do. All right. Somewhere. Yeah. Here, I'll pause it for a second. All right. So, yeah. So tell me about when you look at your phone, um, if it feels comfortable to you. I'm not going to show what's on your phone, but... Okay. It, it, I, it's easy to read. I don't have a problem reading it. It just seems like it's just, it's not as sharp. Okay. So it, I mean, it's like, it's like just uh, what, slightly blurred. What color is the text on your phone? Is it white, black, 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 oh, black and then and white. black and white. Is the background um, of the text, what color is the background of the text? On the white, it's beige. And on the, on the black writing, it's white. Got it. Okay. Is one easier to see than the other? Is the black, really. are the black letters easier to see than, for example, the white on the no. beige? Or is it both about the same? It's about the same. It used to be right. harder to read, read white. Now it's about the same. Now it's about the same. All right, so we got here a screen. So you can look at this screen. How are these? Are, do you have any difficulty reading these? No. Okay. So that's so something like this is uh, easy to read. Very easy. The Clearview 3 is a segmented bifocal lens implant with a transition zone designed to give good far intermediate and near vision without glasses. How does it work? When light rays or light energy enters our eyes, that light energy needs to be focused on our retina. Well, the Clearview 3 has a far segment dedicated to focusing light energy from far away, another segment that focuses light rays from near, and a transition zone that focuses light rays from an intermediate distance. You don't need to look in a certain direction to bring those light rays into focus. No matter the direction you look, the lens implant is focusing light energy from all these distances simultaneously. Now, the pupil size regulates the total energy entering the eye. So in theory, if the pupil is too small, there is less total light energy available and therefore one may expect some decreased performance in low light settings. However, there are no rings on this lens implant, and it seems to cause much less of a halo effect than with diffractive multifocal lenses with rings, such as the panoptics or synergy. The clear view, however, does not correct astigmatism like most diffractive multifocal lenses on the market today. No lens is perfect, but this lens is certainly worth considering for patients who desire freedom from glasses with an average or larger pupil size and who don't have too much astigmatism. I appreciate you all watching. I hope you found this video helpful. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.